all right dudes and dudettes welcome back to all the mods nine guys it's been a bit oh my goodness we're in the new house i recorded an entire video and i my mic was turned off the whole time i gotta verify my mic is turned on right now okay good yeah so built this thing in a video with you guys just you know kind of the ins and outs and my mic was muted the entire time it was terrible uh, we've done a couple live streams here. We're rocking all the modium gear. Um, it was really simple. We, I, I actually, uh, Psychotic Butcher, who is on the server, one of my close buddies, uh, him and I, uh, he live streamed. I just kind of played along. We got a bunch of all the modium. We even got some vibranium, which is really cool. So we can get some vibranium site going um, and then potentially get some unobtainium, which is cool. But we don't have the unobtainium upgrade uh this guy here this is what we need in order to make the unobtainium items um yeah the only way to get it is to take a vibranium unobtainium upgrade and i believe you only find these in the um oh, what do you have to sell gingerbread man hey that's kind of cool bumblebee spawn egg oh nah he's got nothing good you want something Where's the other one? Where'd the other one go? But anywho, today, guys, we're going to be working on setting up some industrial foregoing stuff because I'd really like to get the Wither Builder made and the Mob Crusher created. Um, so we're going to be working on that. So we need to make a couple of these Hopper Botany Pots. All right, 13. That's actually more than I was anticipating that we would make. Um... Let's see, I think we're going to use some spruce saplings and yeah, we'll use some supremium farmland. Now, I was only planning on making four, so that's what we'll do. Get a two by two here. Good. Okay, so we'll set these guys up here soon. Oh, one more thing that I did in that video is we actually went through and cleared this whole area out. Um, there's another one down, another space down here. But yeah, this is our new area. This is below our base. Um, I've been actually, I didn't show you guys this. I've been working on just kind of an area, what it would be like, but this gets us down to the bottom bottom level um, over here. So I really like it. It looks pretty cool. And uh, obviously the elevator won't stay there. We'll have a different way to get up. Um, but yeah, this gets us gets us back here. Okay, so we've got these guys. We'll work on, we'll work on this later. That's for another episode. Um, but we're gonna need to make a fluid extractor. So we need, oh, that was all of our gold. I hope we don't need any more. Okay, we got tons of redstone. I also found a witch spawner while we were in um, the other, which is what I was referencing earlier, um, where I got the vibranium with Psychotic Butcher. Um, yep, now we need some pistons. Good, okay. So I actually want a full stack of these. How many do we get? Oh, okay, well, we don't have enough gold. I do have a zombie, zombified piglin spawner, but I want 16 per botany pot. Actually, we might just stick with eight per botany pot because that might be a little much. Um, and then we need some pipes. Uh, we're gonna get some universal pipes going here for this. Yeah, and then, whoops. Get some of the, oh, we're out of gold. Yep, that's where it's gonna bite us, okay. That's all right. Okay, we'll have to do some AFKing. Um, but yeah, we'll put these guys kind of down here for now. Um, so these flu, oh, wait, hang on. We need to make some block placers. Um, the, oh, these need plastic, okay. And we need latex bucket for that. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to do it quite yet. And that is totally okay. But I want to find the center of the room here. And we're going to kind of carve out a little hole. Okay, so we got ourselves a little room over here. Um, so fluid extractors. Oh, they place the same way, right? Yes, okay. So one, two, three, four. We can do five. All right, and then this is where the block placers will be put. Okay, 
Um, yep. Okay, so we can get started by putting some wood here. And let's see, once this goes down, yep, that's giving us some latex. So temporarily, we'll put some of these here and we can put the, put these into a tank. Good, now we can give these guys power to make them um, do significantly better. And we do have these block wireless block chargers um, that we can make. So we just need one flux point and one of these guys and we're rocking and rolling. All right, so here we go. Uh, we'll just put this guy right here, this guy on top, and then we will go to our network. There we go. And all of these guys should have power. Yeah. So they're moving significantly faster. We're getting more of that. Oh, we need to pull the fluid out. All right, now it should be filling up. Yeah, look at that. We got half a bucket of latex already. Cool. So we do, in fact, need a bucket of latex. I'm gonna grab two buckets because we need one for latex and one for just normal water. High quality H2O. All right, there we go. We got one bucket here. So let's do slash home. All right, now we need to make a latex processing unit. Good. All right, and then this is going to replace this guy. And it is it gonna have power? I don't think it's in range. So let's put it here. That should be within range. It sure is. Good. And then we are getting latex pumped into here. Awesome. So we'll go like this. And then we'll pull the latex out of this guy. Yep. There we go. Good. Okay. So now this is getting latex. Now we just got to fill it with water. So let's, let's get a sink. This is an infinite water source. And ah, we do need... Some more terracotta. Oh, look at that, more vibranium. That was a little crazy. I did not realize I had vibranium just chilling in there. Okay, so we do have the means to get a uh, wireless charger going here. Um, so what we can actually do is take this guy, we can plug it in here, and then we can link these guys up so that we can switch this guy to use power instead of fuel. Uh, same for these two. We'll, we'll do that in a second. Um, let's grab a furnace. Uh, I'd like to upgrade this guy. So uses... Actually, let's just do it here. So iron furnace. Ah, we don't have any gold. So we're going to stick to an iron furnace for now. Uh, the reason why is the latex processing unit will give us tiny dry rubber and we're going to need to combine those together um, to get a dry rubber. Oh wait, I wonder if we can use a compact one of these guys, a simple compacting machine. I wonder if that will work to compact and then we can just pump it into a... Yeah, let's, let's try this. Let's go back down. Okay, so... Oh, we didn't have a sink yet. All right, sink acquired. I think we'll go ahead and leave this sink up here and we'll grab another bucket of water here, which then we can put in here and make our second sink for down there. And then we don't have to run down to the, the water source anymore for that. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna break that off and we're gonna do that. Good, so now it's getting water and this should be, yep, it's making our dry rubber pellets. Good. <clears throat> now I wanna see here, it would be really, really handy if it could just go right into this guy. Oh, I gotta move forward. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it means we're probably gonna need to make a crafter from RF tools, but that's okay. They are not expensive at all, and we can power it just by it being close. So unfortunately, just one more thing that needs... Oh, how did I take damage for one? There we go. Okay, tiny dry rubber. We're gonna click here. Uses, do that. There we go, okay. Dry rubber. Good, so now if we have items pull out, 
I get put into here. Boom. All right, rocking awesome. So then we want to do this, and then we're going to put it into the furnace. And I need a block to stand on. All right, so we'll pull it out, put it into the furnace. So this will be input and we'll make everything else output. Okay, and then we can put this here as well and that will start to cook it for us. Yep, and then, wait, does this support auto output on? Okay, let's try this out. So then if we were to say, just put a drawer here, yes, it does automatically pump it out. That is awesome. So now we have uh, plastic being automated. Um, yeah, I mean, this is our slowest thing now. So that's actually really cool. Um, let's see, got some quests, tips and tricks. Okay, we made sink. That's good, I think that's the only thing. Yeah, okay. So I would like to make two more of these. So we have three units doing that, but dang, I really, really am liking these wireless block chargers. Um, yeah, these are probably one of my favorite, favorite uh, blocks right now. Because like we, this, oh man, it's so good. Again, we, we don't have to run power to them. So, I mean, these have power, these have power. Yeah, and now that we have these guys running, um, it means that we can get plastic whenever we want. And we can start making the block placers. Now we're gonna need four per one. Uh, pneumatic craft has a way to make plastic sheets. Plastic sheet, Elton plastic. Yeah, the pneumatic craft way of doing this is way more difficult, but uh, we need to start making a disillusion chamber. So I'm gonna take these. These will allow us to make some upgrades for it so it can run faster. Uh, we only need two, we need a diamond gear, and then we need some gold. I mean, we could, do I have a hammer? I do have an ore hammer, good. Smack those around, put that there. All right, we got that gold ingot that we needed. So dissolution chamber, boom. I'll go ahead and make another flux point specifically for it. All right, so the dissolution chamber for now, we'll just put right here, put the flux point on top, set it to ours. All right, we're rocking and rolling. Now all we need is some latex to go in there. Okay, I'm actually gonna move the flux point to the bottom here. Put that back. We need one more pipe. We do this. Actually, we need two more. There we go. And then just... Now these guys are not within range. You know what? I'm gonna make another one. Okay, so this is what we're going with now. I put in another block charger here. They're very inexpensive. Um, yeah, now this guy's got power. We're also getting latex. So then we can go ahead and make some upgrades. So we're gonna do an efficiency tier two and a speed tier two. And maybe we'll try all three of these. So we need glass panes, diamond gears. Okay. So let's grab a couple of these. Probably we'll do f three machines, three upgrades each. Actually, we only need nine. I'll put those back. All right. We need some redstone. We need some blaze rods. Is blaze rods? No, we need two blaze rods. And we need some sugar. And then we need a furnace and a crafting table. That's an interesting one. And I believe these all require just latex. Yep, a thousand. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the speed. Oh, I didn't bring any glass panes. What a pain. Okay, glass pane, boop, boop. All right, and then speed. 
and this is going to go on to this guy because as you can see we're generating more latex than we are using and this is the bottleneck this isn't the bottleneck this isn't the bottleneck that is so speed upgrade boom that's definitely helping and we can go ahead and make the fuel efficient one why is it connected glass i think that's a problem i wonder oh, it has to be what about this there we go okay now we're good we were able to convert it back by just crafting it in a four by uh, two by two. Redstone up here, gear, gear. We actually only needed six. I don't know why I said we needed nine. My brain, no worky. Okay, yeah, we're doing good. And we can put speed and efficiency upgrades in each of these as well, and they'll be even faster. Boom, speed, efficiency, and let's try, let's try that other one with a furnace and a crafting table. Yeah, we've got enough in here. A processing tier two. I don't even know if we can use it. We're just testing it, really. Okay. Can this go in here? It can. Oh, I did three. Oh, wow. That is significantly better. It almost can't keep up. Now it can. Up to 11 of those. Look at that. Oh man, we got three in there too. Now this is the holdup. This is good though. Um, because soon, yeah, we need to let this process for quite a bit. I think I should make some speed and efficiency. And you can lock it. So, so we need two gears per each one. We have 10, so we're gonna need 20 of these. Okay. That's a lot. Okay, something I want to do real quick is I want to go into a cave and I want to find one of those cave creepers because when those guys die, they give diamond, emerald, raw, raw gold, and raw iron. And I think it would be fantastic to have one of those guys in the farm. Now, obviously, we can just void the iron because we have iron coming in, but... Uh, well, maybe we'll process it, but the additional gold would be sweet. So there are a couple of places down here that haven't been lit up yet. And I don't think have a mega torch around. Yeah, I guess it'd be a good spot to find one. That's a creeper spawn egg. Oh, I found a boss spawner. We got some... Oh, and he teleported because we have something on. Oh, there he is. Hmm. I don't know if I should take anything in here. Oh, pickup upgrade. We're going to take that. But I'm still looking for that cave creeper. They're kind of like a creeper, but cave-like. You know? Whoa. So, still looking. All right, peeps. So, it's been a couple of days since we last recorded um down here i went ahead and added another one over to this side um so basically we just have three of these so these are just fluid extractors going up into the system we created and then we have that going but into a dissolution chamber and then i created it but just mirrored it to the other side this is just a facade there's nothing behind it um also went ahead down here and put in the block placers um these are super duper easy to create once you have some plastic going but yeah pity machine plastic super easy and then we got some botany pot set up here with some wood um the way we have this set up is just out of range but we have a spruce and some supremium farland we can upgrade this soon but we're producing quite a bit of wood and so i've got a void upgrade and a copper upgrade so we can hold uh about a little over 8,000 pieces of spruce wood per drawer. Um, but then I also here, I do have filters for the spruce logs. So those are the only things going here. And then it destroys any of the access sticks or saplings that we get. So this is 100% automated, which is a fantastic. And it looks pretty good. I also put a tank here just so we can grab some things 
And by things, I mean latex. We can just get a bucket of latex just like so. It's pretty neat. But yeah, that's all I've pretty much been doing. I also added in, I guess, a feral lantern uh, to help lighten this place up a bit. And then we also upgraded some of the calcite production we have here. We built this on stream. We just have one calcite seed and eight uh, stone seeds. Or uh, this is amethyst sorry and then that gets crafted together into uh calcite which is amethyst and stone and then boom we have 44,000 44.4 thousand calcite here and i did put netherite upgrades in here just because we could and i wanted to see what it would do and it's 2.1 billion so yeah that's really good and so up to now 619 plastic yes it is amazing why do we need that you ask well very shortly, we are going to be creating the Wither Builder, and it requires plastic, just two. But it also requires this, which is a supreme machine frame, and this ethereal glass, ether gas, sorry, this ether gas, we actually get from mining a Wither. So we have to build a containment chamber and then mine a wither with it in order to get this ether gas. And we'll be working on that later. Uh, it'll be down there with the other uh, fluid production, the latex here. So we'll probably put it on this wall and then we can put something small on these, but I would like to fill all of these sides up. I think it'd be really snazzy. And then here we're gonna put a bunch of botany pots um, in different areas. I'm kind of marking out where we want but yeah, it leads out here. Very nice. Very good. Very nice. Oh, Frostwalker. So yeah, that we'll be doing that here in probably within the next couple of episodes, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, some phantoms burning in the sky. But yeah, over here is where our mob farm is going to be moved to. Um, we're going to have two big mob farms here. Um, so yeah, the mob farm will be the interdynamic there. And then we'll have like a building here that goes around... Uh, and these will all be connected through tunnels. And this is going to be our wither killing chamber for now. Um, I do think maybe we might move this a little bit further away. Because it could get rather laggy. Or I just don't want the wither bar all the time at the top of our screen, you know. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. But we are going to be getting into Create here pretty soon. Uh, this area has been pretty vacant. We're also going to put a building there and possibly a building on top of that. We might just put the withers over there. I wonder if that's far enough away. We could check. We could check. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to make a mob crusher. If you guys have, don't know about the mob crusher, it is one of the best mob slaying tools oh we need pink slime well it's from the mob slaughter factory give me a second we'll get this set up okay so we're gonna make a quick um this guy this is a iron tier range upgrade that we need i think it's like a plus seven yeah so we're gonna add all of these guys together to our mob farm and i would like to somehow get that into the center but we'll see we're going to add that over here. Um, you know, I think we can just use some slimes for now. That guy here. Yeah, area is good. We just need some slimes to spawn. Okay, so right here, um, we're just chilling right outside the slimes. However, I do think they're dying a little too fast. Um, but we are killing them every once in a while, which isn't that bad. But yep, we're up to 142 millibuckets. We need a full millibucket. And then we also do need to craft another of the, the uh, dissolution chambers. So I'm going to make one of those here. Yeah. Okay, sorry about the last couple of clips. I just realized that uh, it was muted, but now we have some pink slime here. Uh, I actually went through and upgraded the slime spawner, so now we're getting a crazy amount of slime to the point where it's probably going to lag us out if we don't go away, so we probably got to get out of here. But anywho, let's go ahead and make a mob crusher. So that's going to take a simple guy. Okay, so we got a couple of steps here. Another brick. We will get these smelted up. Oh, yes. Pops chorus fruit. I was working with the things, the lights, something like that. This is all the test to see if a wither 
bar will be on the peak oh, over there somewhere. Yes, on there. It'd be really cool if we put the wither thing there. Maybe it look like a spooky house or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so we got a few of these guys. Good. So we need to make this. We need to make this. Okay. So we need a gold gear. Just make one for now. One of you. And then we'll just take a stack of those. And then some iron. And I believe we can make that now. Let's go ahead and try. All right, that is it. Now let's, while that's working, we can get the stuff for this guy. So we need more plastic, two of those. Um, we're making that guy. We need some netherite scrap. There it is. We need some gold and a diamond gear, which we already have. Cool. Okay, so this guy is completed. Let's put him back in. Put these there. These here. These here. And this guy here. And booyah, we're off. What? Oh, this needs to be pink slime. So if we go like this, it'll put it in. Good. Okay, here we go. Now these go in. Very good. Aha, perfect. Oh yeah, there we go. Awesome, there should be a quest for that because that's not an easy thing to craft. All right, mob crusher. We just need two gold gears. There we go, mob crusher. All right, let's test out and see. Well, for one, we're, since the last time I fought one, I believe I'm in significantly better gear. Um, but we need a flux point. I'm going to need a range upgrade. That's not what it's called. They are called range tier, or add-ons range, tier five. We're doing a tier 12, which is the max you can do, I believe. Because I don't know how far away we're gonna have to do this. Um, we should probably do some speed upgrades too. All right, there's a speed upgrade and there's an efficiency upgrade, cool. So we're gonna go put all these up there and we're gonna grab some soul sand. So we'll grab a stack because we might not get it on the first try. But our sword does 26 attack damage, so we should fare pretty well against it. What am I looking for here? Oh yes, Wither Skulls. Got beheading on that upgrade thing in there. Okay, so what we're trying to see is if when the Wither is built, if it activates the bar. So, we'll put the mob crusher right here, okay? Put the flux point on top, put that to our network. Put this and this and this in here. So now it's moving pretty fast. And now, the goal, we're going to do this and hit slash home. All right, okay. Hmm. It's just barely close enough. Hmm. What if? Might have to expand this a little bit. I really want to put it here. Um. Heck, we could even put it on this guy. It's kind of a floating thing, you know? Okay, heck, we could even do... Well, it's not even... Wait. Or it's not an odd number. Now it's an odd number. Okay, so we can do this. We can go bing, bing, bing. Okay, so now that's rocking and rolling. This is here. That's pretty good. So we gotta be... Hmm. I wish that was a little bit further away. You know, we could put it here. Okay. So I got him over here. Obviously, no bar over on this side. Where? Hmm. About the same. I think we should put it here. I gone over here at this side. We can put these here. This here. See, because in my base, can't see it. And I don't think you can see it from over here. You can't from over here. I don't have a big problem with that. Just as long as when we're in our base, it's not going nuts. So I think we're actually going to put it here on this building we'll make a building up here make it look cool we'll get some weatherproofing blocks 
and actually we should have another nether star in here we sure do so that means we've got four nether stars while testing this out that is pretty cool what can we make with them obviously the wither builder make another right to nether star upgrade from generator okay this is cool i think we already did this already but you can make the arc arc mage spell book and this hmm what even is this weird stuff we'll get into that later but I think we're going to go ahead and call it there for today. This video has taken me quite a while to come out with. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.